Good day fellow farmers. You are welcome to our YouTube channel. Malam Dara Integrated Farm. Make sure you like, you subscribe and then share this video so that other people will get this very vital information. Today we are going to look at our module 3 of our catfish ebook title on limited solution to catfish hatchery production and management. What it entails in module 3 is feed formulation which is almost covering 60 to 70 percent the amount of money spent by the farmers <coughs> during the production cycle. If the amount of money that is spent on feed can be reduced by a farmer definitely that farmer will improve his profit margin in fish farming business. Therefore I want you to recall that have you seen a formula like this before in your life? A formula that tells you step by step on how to go about feed formulation. The formula that shows you how to quantify a certain quantity of ingredient to be added to your diet. There are many factors. There are many factors that involve feed feed formulation. And then if those factors or conditions can be followed in a due process, definitely the farmer will arrive at the right destination and then you will have an amazing result at the end of the production cycle. As you can see, there are factors to consider before formulating fish feed. These are the factors. These information, they are like a preparatory stage that a farmer need to undergo before going direct to the feed formulation. This is the nutrient requirement for the catfish. As you can see, this is the nutritional level, that is the crude protein, the energy level, the calcium, the phosphorus, the methionine, and the lysine <laughs> content of each and every feed ingredient. This is the plant protein. This is the energy source. This is the fat minerals. These are the feed additives, salt, methionine, and lysine which can be used as a supplement where there is no available protein in the feed. Toxin binders. These are the dietary protein requirement of different stages of catfish. Each and every stage of catfish has a particular crude protein that is required of feed. When formulating a feed, the crude protein needs to be considered in a due manner based on the stages of that fish so that to formulate a feed with a protein crude protein requirement of that particular fish. These are the different methods used to calculate the crude protein, but what we use here in our book is the Pearson square method, which is very simple and then which farmers can be able to know and understand very easy and effective. These are the method or the steps involved in calculation of the crude protein using the Pearson square method. As you can see, we have example of two ingredients, that is the energy and the protein content of the feed. Uh, after calculating the crude protein content, doing the subtractions and the rest, you will arrive at what is called the percentage of the ingredient required. So now after getting the percentage of the ingredients required now, the next thing is to know how can you quantify those ingredients to be able to use them in the feed formulation. We have provided a formula <coughs> and then that formula is quantity of ingredient protein and energy is equal to percentage requirement of the ingredient over 100 times the quantity of feed to be formulated. The quantity of feed to be formulated can be 200 kg, 100 kg, 1000 kg or any quantity of fish or any quantity of feed that the farmer wish to formulate. As you can see in our example 200 kg, 170 kg or any quantity you wish to. You can be able to quantify. Now this is the application of the formula. We use various examples to calculate the quantity of ingredient. Now, when you want to add a methionine or a lysine supplement in your fish, how do you quantify it? We have a formula also on how to calculate the quantity of methionine or the quantity of lysine in a feed formulation of any quantity you wish to formulate. You can be able to know the amount of lysine that is needed to be added so that you can be able to add to quantify the methionine content of the feed. This is the lysine content, how to calculate it. 
and then the fish premix also how do you calculate the fish premix of the feet how do you quantify it we have a formula you can just put it and then obtain the actual amount in kg that is needed to be added of premix we have various example solves so that it can aid you have more light on how to calculate the quantity of fish premix all these examples are very simple straightforward and understandable this is how to calculate the quantity of phosphorus in feed formulation the calcium phosphate is a supplemented phosphorus which is found in the market that can be used to add to balance the amount of phosphorus and calcium in the feed how do you quantify the amount of the calcium phosphate in a feed we also have a formula provided how to calculate the quantity in kg of fat that is needed using granite cake as a fat source how do you quantify the quantity of granite cake in your own feed how to determine the amount of salt vitamin c and drugs to be added in feed formulation as you can see we have formula also for vitamin c formula and then the amount of drugs that is needed and so on and so forth there are a lot of vital informations in this book to get a copy so that you can have access to all this information we have our contact address below this video you can check our contact address or you can whatsapp us so that to know or to have an easy guide on how to get a copy of this book thank you don't forget to like subscribe and share this video